there, I'm the new choreographer for the Council of Traders. They requested I devise a new encryption system to secure trade. I finally developed a system that's uncrackable. Would you like to put it to the test? Yes, I would. Terrific! If you manage to bypass my system, I will award you credit for cryptography. All right, Criffer. Out of the four symbols, which is the one to complete the series of symbols below? So, starts as a solid square, gets a dot, breaks a dot in the corner, then gets shifted. And then it's reversed. And so it should get shifted again in the same direction. So I think... One, two, one, two. It's this, yeah? Nope. Why are you just complete ignoramus? Which solution are you learning towards? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's do this again. Let's put my skills to the test here. All right, roll. I thought it was this one because I thought that this, the fourth guy, so going from the left, one, two, three, four, I thought it was just shifting a broken part up. But I guess if it continues breaking it, then number three would be the next one. Kind of bothers me. Eh, we'll we'll see. I I'm pretty sure it's three. No, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I don't understand this coding at all. Either my encryption is indeed uncrackable, or you're a complete ignoramus. Which solution are you leaning towards? What do you look like, by the way? Uh, all right. Well, at this point, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I did not mean to press that. But now we know. Now we know. Is the last option because the order does not change. I'll have to learn that puzzle later. What? You found it? <sighs> now I have to start again from square one. Leave me. Oh yes, you have your credits. All right. I have all these books. I can't actually read them. <laughs> What's your story, big guy? The library holds so many books, it must all be sorted meticulously. I am in charge of the archives, but because it's such a collection can't be uh, because such a collection can't be perfectly sorted, I bear the title of an archivist. It's a little joke dating back to the imperial era. At any rate, I have a tidying related conundrum. 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 That's a simple word. That is me at my wit's end. I haven't slept for three nights now. Would you like to give it a try? Yeah. All right, let's do it. The obsessive short. One of the books in the library isn't in its place. Can you spot which one? Huh. So one of these things is not like the other, eh? Okay, from first glance, this all looks like it's all over the place. So I guess we're all looking for what's in common. It's not height. It's not the bar size. So I'm mad I would imagine next is the number. If I'm right, it's this one. That was easy. I was looking for the tabs. Indeed! The label on this book is framed by two horizontal strips at the top and bottom. It should be on the second shelf. To think I hadn't noticed it. Thanks for your help. You've earned your credit in Archer Oval Studies. Oh! Dear me, we have this book in triplicate. Here, take it. We're short on space anyway. I got 50 ghost stories. A book not everyone should read. I hope the book proves useful. Are we gonna scare the pants off those girls? Are they gonna see? Are they gonna be reading ghost stories and be afraid? I don't think that little whimpering girl could take it. Maybe I get to bring more books. 
Greetings, young man. Researcher attached to the militia at your service. Speaking of service, how about you do me one? Perfect! The Council of Traders has tasked me with implementing a new patrol system for the militia. I made sure to follow all their instructions, but I'm convinced there's a flaw somewhere. Wait, let me show you. Ah, uh, wartime strategy. Here we go. N05 patrol. After leading guard room X, each patrol must reach one of seven watchtowers. A patrol may go down any path, but must stop at the sixth tower it encounters. Okay. Also, it can never use the same path twice. If this is always the procedure, one of the towers will never have a garrison. Which one? Okay. So... One, specifically, will never have one no matter what. So we start from the path, go A, B. So there's... How many are here in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven. If we go off one path, I can see that we don't reach G in time, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, and then we stop before G. Likewise, if we go the other direction, F, E, D, C, B, A, same story. However, we can also go up and around to A, B, C, D, G, F, and then leave E behind, or we could go F, G, D, E, oh, but we can't take the same path. F, G, D, C, B, A. Hmm. I found a way to get to every single fort at least once. Um. So maybe I'm not understanding the question. Because it says we take a route. We can't repeat our route. But, um... We stop at the sixth one. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, we build a garrison at the sixth one we stop at. That makes sense. So, uh, in order, starting from the top, there's A, B, C, D, E. Starting from the top, there's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, so we have G as an option, or excuse me, we have uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, we stop before G, so we have F as an option, we also have B as an option, because we go in the other direction, so it's, F, or so it's F, G, D, C, B, A, so A is the second one, we can also go F, E, D, C, B, one, two, three, four, five. That's A a second time. Because um, it really doesn't make a difference how we get there. We can also go F, G, A, B, C, D. So D gets one. We can also have uh, A, G, F, E, D, C. So C gets one. We can also have uh, A, G, it's B. B is the one that will never hit. I messed up. You don't seem sure of yourself. I think that needs to be double checked. All right, one more time, one more time. I messed up. Patrol. They reach seven watchtowers. They must stop at the sixth. Okay, so. Can we get, so A, B, C, D, E, and G are the other ones we haven't stopped at yet. So is it possible to stop at G and is it possible to stop at E? So A, B, C, D, E. It is not possible to stop at G, I don't think. F, E. It is possible to stop at E, I believe. A, B, C, D, G, no. Is it G or E? Is it possible to stop at G? A, B, C, D. I can't go back. G would make it five. G? 
That doesn't seem right. Yeah, okay. It is E. And if it isn't E, I'm going to be very confused. There we go. Ah, yes, of course. I'm in your debt now, so you can never have a problem. Come by and see me. I'm off to start drafting my report to the council. If you fairly deserve credit for this military operations. You gonna give me a book? I did just help my enemy. Sorry, no time to chat. Too much to do. Hmm, unless you're prepared to lend me a hand. So here's the thing. Every 500 years, two comets meet in the heavens. Books on the subject indicate that the next occurrence is this very night. I wouldn't miss it for the world, but unfortunately I cannot figure out what part of the sky they'll be visible in. Here, look on this map. Stellar encounter. When the two comets arrive, they'll cross the map only diagonally. So there's a bunch of stars, they'll cross diagonally. They will not intersect any star present either before or after they meet. Oh, this is simple. They're just going to make an X. But it's going to be an X like where they don't interfere with any star. So you just have to take a look at what goes all the way through. So this goes all the way through. This does not. This does not. This does not. This does not. That does not, and there's nothing below it. Okay, next one. That does not. That does not. Uh, huh. No, they'll hit one there. 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 They'll hit two there. They'll hit one there. They'll hit one there. They'll hit two there. They'll hit one there. They'll hit one there. They'll hit one there, they'll hit one there, they'll hit one there, they'll hit one, they'll hit two there, they'll hit one there, two there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. One there. One there. One there. Actually, two there. One there. Right there. That's the one place they won't get. They won't cross a star. Of course. How could I miss that? Thank you for your help. Now to award you with credits in astronomy. Nice. Can I get another book? Or am I just going to have this haunted stories one? Look at you. Oh, hey, man. Are you by any chance the stand-in engineer they sent to help me out? Yep. Sure took your time, didn't you? Here's what's up. We got to replace the town's piping, old piping network. I'm trying like crazy to come up with the best outline for connecting all the junctions, but it's a real brain teaser. Go on, take this map and get working. All right, piping. Oh, this is an old game. The junctions and greens cannot be moved, uh, but all must be connected for the final network. Though the pipes create a single network that cross through every area of the map. I get ya. All right, so for starters, this guy has to be one of these, and this guy has to go down. 
right? So far, so easy. And then we'll just get one of these, which becomes... Do you have any straight lines? We do. Becomes that. Uh, and then I guess going down would be ideal. Get another straight. Do we have another straight? Ooh, we do not have another straight. All right, how about this? You go down. Go like that. Ah, oh, but now we have a new problem. That makes more sense. As I'm doing this, I'm secretly praying that I have all the parts for this. And then switch. Ta-da! Simple. There are super complex versions of that. That was a baby one. Ah, perfect. I was afraid it would take all day. Thanks, man. Just got to hand the plans over to my assistant when he gets back. Oh, didn't... Uh, not mean to do that. Whenever that is. You definitely earned your civil engineering credits. All right, we got all eight. Trophy earned scholar. Okay, I guess I'm giving the girls a scary book after all. Uh, so, are your studies progressing well? Well. Oh, congratulations! <coughs> you finished all your courses. This calls for an extra reward. There you go, shiny boy. I got a star. All right, now on to my teaching. What would you like to know? The Magi. The Magi are a people, or rather a civilization. I uh, peaked more than 200... 2,500 years ago while the world was largely underwater. According to the legend, they possessed magical powers beyond anything else in history. Some even say they could manipulate time itself. But these are most likely exaggerated explanations of contemporaneous peoples to account for strange phenomena after the fact. Nevertheless, after dominating the area in which they lived, they completely vanished 2,000 years ago. All they left behind were a few ruins and many unsolved mysteries. What would you like to know? Uh, the mm, disappearance of the Magi. Surely it is the greatest riddle ever put forth. Why would a civilization as powerful as the Magi vanish from the face of the earth 2,000 years ago? And without a trace, or practically none. Even after years of research, I must admit, I haven't the foggiest idea. What would you like to know? All right, here's the one we want to know, the megaliths. What are commonly known megaliths are in fact the most famous relics of the Magi civilization. While somewhat rare, they're evenly spread throughout various continents. It's not precisely known what purpose they served, Deciphered writings refer to a road or path, but where does it lead? Incidentally, it was while searching for a megalith that my former professor, also a great expert on the Magi, met her end. Quite a sad story, really. What would you like to know? Your professor. My old professor was leading Magi expert. Her entire life was devoted to figuring out why they had disappeared. I recall she was particularly interested in the megaliths. She thought the stones contained a power that, once triggered, would enable her to learn more about the Magi. She discovered a megalith that she believed could only or could activate with the Stone of Time. Sadly, she was captured by the pirates that lived on the island at the time. No one ever found a trace of her. That was on Magi Isle. The one people now call the Cursed Isle. 
What would you like to know? Stone of Time. The Stone of Time is quite the legend of itself. This voice is murder on the throat, and I've been doing it a while. <clears throat> it has some connection with the Megalus, but I do know more than that. The item predates the Magi by many years. So long ago, in fact, no one remembers when or why it was created. Or at least I don't. I'm very old. I'm not even sure if the stone really exists. The only direct reference I was able to identify is in the archives of the demon royal family, which I was lucky enough to visit. The stone of time was evidently a large round stone, black with an eye engraved on the center. Interestingly, the eye resembles that used by the prophet. A bizarre coincidence if you ask me, but I am hardly concerned with the outside world. What would you like to know? The Isle. Magi Isle is located far to the east and can only be researched by boat from Shara Harbor. Its name comes from the Magi ruins found there. Pirates made it their home, only to be mysteriously driven out later. Whatever the case may be, fishermen still refuse to set foot there. They believe the island is cursed, and so its name became Cursed Isle. Pretty on the nose, huh? Quite the ghost story, as if they even existed. To get to Magi Isle, you'll need a boat. Keep in mind that only a member of the Council of Traders can provide you with a pass of safe conduct. What would you like to know? Oh, nothing at all. We did it. That's all the information we needed, right? Unless there's something else to talk about. Magi, Magalus, Disappearance of Magi, Professor, Stone Time, Magi, Isle. Nope, we're good to go. Okay. We have a plan. Oh, we have a plan. That was rough. Okay, so we have a plan going to the Magi Isles. Uh, we have to get a boat. Presumably, we have to get permission from the council, which means, we, and we have to talk to these little girls about giving them their scary book back. Here, 50 ghost stories. Oh, you brought us a book? Let's see here. 50 drinking games? You gave this to some innocent girls? Then again, it'll come in handy when we're older. Wait, it said 50 ghost stories. You basically kept your promise. So here, this is for you. Thanks for the book. Careful not to lose the key. You say anything different? We can trust you, I hope. Yeah, we gave. I already gave you the book. Eh, 